what is going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day wherever you are, whatever time you're watching this. I'm gonna be talking about bundles. Obviously they've been around for a while. Um, if you've seen some uh, bundles before, obviously well, in theory, you know, all bundles are, in, are basically new listings, right? And all listings have been created sometimes, but obviously these days it's become something that people have to add to their arbitrage and wholesale businesses to get a little bit more profit because obviously the margins Definitely with all the price rises uh, in the you know, inflation cost of goods has you know has gone up in the last sort of year, year and a half, whatever that period is. Um, and obviously you need to find a little bit more to you know either make what you made before or obviously to expand your business and make more profits. So I'm gonna go over this example of a bundle that I created uh, just because I can't restock the item. So I can't restock the item. It doesn't mean in the future I can't but for, for the for the meantime i've not been able to restock it and so therefore i've um i'm happy to share it with you so you can see the kind of listings that i'm creating not to say that they're perfect of course um but also to show you the potential profits that you can make so you can kind of see here this is the this is the product i've made right it's basically just a, a multi-pack party pack whatever you want to call it of different um mixes obviously great for parties and stuff like that i think i, I don't say oh yeah large bag large bag party sets. You don't have to say that kind of thing. Uh, I've, I've been playing around with how I write this um, with different listings. So diff some listings will have a lot of this kind of thing, like party packs, great, so great for parties, um, that kind of thing. Off the top of my head, I can't even think of the stuff now, but you get what I'm trying to say. Obviously it's on the brand generic. There has been some weird stuff going on with the generic branding recently, like I, for example, I created two um, generic products, but I didn't add any photos. So I, I created them, but I left them for the meet for the for a while because obviously, as soon as you add pictures, it goes into the point where it's now like um, seen as being out of stock. Before that, it's it's seen as like not active. Um, so you don't want to add the pictures until you send in your stock, or until you're about to send in your stock, but. Uh, and then I came up and then there was a couple of errors that popped up on the screen, pretty similar to when you try to list under generic and it comes up with this GTIN uh, thing is not blah, blah, I forget exactly what it says, right? But it comes up with some weird error and that started to happen on listings that I kind of created, but didn't finish. Um, so that might mean that in the future, it's basically almost impossible to create under the brand generic, uh, but it doesn't mean that you can't take these kind of products and make it into a slightly better bundle, right? What I mean by that is put it under your own URB, unique, URB, unique brand registry, you are, whatever it's called. Uh, basically put it under your own um, sub brand or whatever you want to call it. Like for example, you can see here, this person, Kingdom Supplies, um, like this, Kingdom Supplies, okay? So obviously right now this is generic. You can kind of get what I mean. But then you could add stuff to this. You could maybe add like a party bowl if you wanted, or I don't know, like be a bit more creative than, than that. But you get what I'm trying to say. So you're making it a little bit more unique, but ultimately it's the same product. It's just got a slightly uh, different addition to it to make it a slightly more unique product. And then you put it under your brand. So look at the potential profits that you can make with this. And I, and just, I pretty much, you can see here the, the profit I was making. I think I only sold about six or 10 of these. Um, it got to about, what, what did it get to? 31,000 rank in grocery. You can see here the um, uh, price that I was selling it for. Obviously I was playing around with the price. I, I book in the stock at this price, 29.99. Then I was playing around with basically just trying to see where the, the price would be in terms of getting a sale. So what I usually, do, have been doing, as I say this is 100% correct, is I will send it in at a high price. And some of my products have actually been selling at that price. So you it, you know, obviously you're not in, you're not fully aware when stock books in all the time. Like stock will book in and the next day you might realize it's booked in, for example. Uh, and I've had stock book in at like 29.99 and sell, which is obviously way above where I really wanted to sell it, just because people are willing to pay for that. Uh, and obviously then I play around with the price to figure out where people would start buying. You can see here, I kind of went to 14.99, then I went to 16, then I went to 19. And as soon as I got my first say, really what I'm trying to do is get a ranking. That's what I'm trying to do. So as soon as you see, obviously the ranking appears, you, there's a sale that's occurred. So I, I, it's probably around here. And then I bumped the price up to 16.99. And then I waited, I waited. And then 
I got another sale and then I bumped up to 19.99. And then at that point, once it was about 30,000 rank, I was able to keep it at that point. Obviously it doesn't always sell, but even if it was selling once a day, that's, th you know, if you obviously look at the six pound 45 profit, costing me 380, 6.45 times 30, you know, that's 200 pounds a month profit off of this one bundle. You know, you times that by, I don't know, 30 bundles, you got 6,000 pounds profit off of 30 bundles, or whatever I just said. So it's not like, you know, not to say that every product's gonna be like this, but if you're layering them in nicely, there's plenty of opportunity. And you know, it's not particularly difficult. Like there's other variations you can see here, uh, a three pack and a five pack, slightly different products inside each. And I basically just got all of them and I bundled them up into a big, big bundle of this, of five. Because you can see here, there's a, I don't even know how to say that word. Girati, whatever that's thing, Bombay, Balti. Here you've got Bombay, Balti and London. Uh, so you can see here I've added in the London, but there was also a Vindaloo mix I could get hold of. So I thought, why not add in the Vindaloo mix as well, right? So I added that in, obviously here is just a picture of each. And you can add in some more photos of the ingredients and stuff like that if you want. But obviously at the time I was thinking, you know what, it's best to just get stuck in. Uh, make sure that I'm uh, you know, doing some uh, in terms of like bullet points and stuff like this, you can see here like this, uh, making sure that I'm putting in as much as possible uh, in terms of like yeah, the allergens and, and basically the more information you add, the better, right? You can kind of see stuff like down here, obviously the ingredients and stuff like that I've added in down there, uh, the more the better really. Um, obviously not all of it is, is uh, vital, but I don't really know the difference right now. And I thought, well, if it's not too difficult to get the information, then I will do it. All I do with these, all I've been doing with these, not even gonna lie, is I'm basically just going into ChatGPT and saying, look, Give me five bullet points why Indian, uh, co-fresh Indian snack selections, just leaving it at that, are great. It gives me five random bullet points. And these are the five random bullet points. I'm not even reading, I'm basically, all I'm, all I'm doing is I'm reading them to make sure they're not uh, talking about a specific product. Because for example, if, if there's another, another flavor that I'm not selling and it starts to mention that in here, then obviously it's not relevant. So I'm basically making sure that it's, it's a generic five bullet points. And then I'm basically just copying and pasting that and pasting it in. That's pretty much it. Obviously making sure I'm filling in this information and making sure I'm making the bundles look, the pictures look kind of uh, appealing as in not like messy and you know, big and bold so you can see what they're getting. And yeah, you can kind of you know see here that the, the profit's pretty crazy. And yeah, considering it's just a random arbitrage product that is the same as these, but just a couple more products and you're getting three, four times the profits. And yeah, you can see here that no one else, obviously since I went out of stock, has, has jumped on. Uh, and not to say that, you know, that probably is because it's where I was getting it from and uh, the places that you can get it from is, is pretty sparse right now. It's not very, I haven't been able to find a place where I can get all five of these basically. Um, so I'm happy to share it with you. Um, but yeah, like, this is this is where you really need to be starting adding into your arbitrage because, you know, all I've been doing is that you going through all my possible arbitrage products and looking for similarity, either similarities or bundles or batches that I can add and mix together, blend together, you know, like for example, blend these two together so that I can create one that is potentially appealing that isn't already on the Amazon platform. So obviously make sure that there isn't already this product on Amazon before you go ahead and list it. Obviously, for example, this is unavailable, so it would not show in the search bar. So you may miss stuff, but more more often than not it, it will show up in the search bar and you just want to make sure that it's there uh, and if the same product is already selling then don't go ahead and sell uh, the same bundle of that product somewhere else then there'll be two listings don't do that look for something you can do where you're basically just trying to you know create something that potentially desirable you know the, the pretty simplest way that I do it is I just go well these are both really great ranking you can kind of as in you can that's slightly better than this one you can kind of see but it's a uh, I don't know 10 fat uh, it kind of fluctuates of the price but it's like 10 20 000. this one is 10 000 to 20 well, it's just the same a little bit better uh and i can go right they're both great good ranking people uh, are obviously wanting this they want to buy this therefore a similar larger bundle should be appropriately placed around that same rank uh, and obviously i didn't have it for a long time but you can kind of see it was around 30 000. but that's plenty because you're now the only seller of this product you're the only seller of this product, and so you don't need it to be 20,000, 10,000, 9,000, 5, you know, 5,000. That would be great and all, but you know, just by being, yeah, you know, at ranking 
around here, you can sell one or two a day. I think it's down here, I was potentially selling maybe two, but on average, about one a day. Obviously, if you can improve, I don't need to sell it at this price. I can, I can drop this price, right? So if I want to increase that rank, if I could get more stock, then I could find a sweet spot. I might be like, you know what? I'm happy to, I want to get this rank to 10,000. So I'm going to sell it at uh, 14.99 potentially. Let's have a look what we can get from that. Yeah. And you are happy to supply that. You'll probably get 380. <laughs> trying to guess that two pound 20 but 56 percent. you could actually build that up maybe if it's on like 16.99 that's probably about right considering looking at the historical price i'd probably start about that 100 roi on uh on 380 so you're making 390 per pack you can probably make two sales a day so what would that work out at 391 times 60 is 234 pounds a month so it's a little bit more than what i was showing you at one sale at 19.99, okay. Obviously, you'd, you could potentially play around with that and find a sweet spot. Um, but yeah, it just shows you you don't need a huge amount of products. You know, if you have 10 to 20 of these products that are selling one a day, you're making four grand extra profit. And the, you know, the, the great thing about it is that it doesn't it doesn't require a lot of capital. You know, if let's have a look. So you're making four grand profit a month. It cost me 380. Um, stock wise. Per month, it's cost me 114 pounds to buy this, to make 200 at the 19.99 level. And obviously, if you wanted to do that across 30 products, that could potentially be three, three and a half grand to make four. It's not a lot of capital investment, right? And obviously, not to say that every product's going to be this profitable and and this cheap and that kind of thing. But you know, we're just throwing out some numbers right now, just so you can see the potential of bundles. And it doesn't have to be a fancy bundle; it can just be very simple. You know, all I've been doing is looking at every product I'm selling looking at the other products that are associated to that product and are they also selling well? So just because I'm not selling it, you know, that's to say there's a, I'm selling a lemon version or something, but there's also a lime version. It's just not profitable as an arbitrage product, but the, the both versions are a great seller, as in great seller as they are, but I'm just not selling both of them because obviously one isn't profitable. But if I bundle them together and sell like a lemon and lime or something, can I now take advantage of people that want the lemon and want the lime? They want to get both because they're complementary, like a lemon and lime, uh, like a, like a, not a sauce, what was talking about? What do they call it? Oh, I don't know why I can't even, like a liquid. All right, I, for some reason my brain, brain's gone blank, but like le lemon juice. There we go, a juice. <laughs> so hard for me. Like lemon and lime juice, you know? And it just literally looking at, like, okay, can I, but you know, obviously to the buy price, is it reasonable? Yes. Do you reckon I, there's a potential for a market there? Yeah, I don't need to get a lot of sales, only one a day. That's the goal. That is literally the goal. And obviously then maybe buy four to six worth uh, bundles as in units wise so that you basically ASINs wise. So four to six ASINs that you can send in, give it a test, see how it goes. Obviously maybe tweak the listing if you need, add it to PPC and give it a whirl. And if it's great, obviously if it sells out pretty quickly, yeah, you still have to restock it and that takes time. But nearly, well, I, I've checked my, my listings and I, I haven't checked the last couple of days. But all of my listings that I've created, you know, this one was created in May 9th, May, June, so that's two months, up to two months. Uh, is that all? Yeah. Um, you talk about, no one's jumped on my generic listings, but probably because generic is really hard to get onto. Obviously, then you can look to add on, potentially vers um, diversify into your own brand, unique items. And it should be similar, not to say that people won't jump on listings, but it's protecting you a lot more than it was before, right? You know, and obviously let's say that eventually three or four people jump on the listing because they overly get on. Well, now you're sharing it across four people, but not 20 or 15. And then obviously what you can do is you can layer that up on top. You can get, you can start creating bundles that are a little bit more unique under your own URB and then layering on top of that. And basically you're building, you're layering your business so that you have the way I see it, arbitrage and arbitrage is like taking, um, is basically for your expenses. Then you add wholesale on, that's giving you a little margin. Then you add in on bundles, which is giving you, an, even though it's, it's, it's cheap to get, you know, to buy the stock in terms of the quantities you need to make the profit, that's giving you your profits. But obviously that can't be relied on because people could potentially jump onto it. So therefore you're gonna also then layer on top some unique bundles, which are obviously there's may, maybe potentially less of them in your infantry. So basically you're starting off like a pyramid. The ones at the bottom, obviously, there's lots of stock, lots of units, but it brings you the least money. And as you work your way up, you get to the top, 
but you're potentially creating really unique products with your own box branding and all that kind of thing where yes, maybe you only have five or 10 of them, but that is bringing in a huge amount of profit and you're the only one on the listing because you've protected your products and various things like that. And you're basically creating a pyramid of, a, of FBA products is the way that it's gonna be, it, it really is. So that if one disappeared, it's not the end of the world because you've still got the others holding it up. But obviously, you know, in, in, in the worst case scenario, yeah, everything could disappear, but that would be in, only in the case of like, Amazon decides to get rid of all third party sellers, for example, which is, you know, pretty far away from where we are right now. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Any questions, let me know. I will uh, obviously reply to you as and when. I'm no expert on this, but I'm just giving you a little bit of a sample in terms of what I've been doing, the kind of ideas that I have, um, and yeah, and the potential opportunities there are for this kind of thing. So I'm going to leave the video there, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.